Activision doomed zombies from the start. They kicked Treyarch off BO4 to make Cold War and then kicked them off Cold War to make Vanguard. They are literally getting no time to make their mode since Activision wants them to fix games that Sledgehammer couldn't handle. It's not surprising that they would end up making a disastrous game mode like Duranfong and Vanguard Zombies. It's not the devs fault though that the game is incomplete and rushed, that's all on Activision. But it is the devs fault that they decided to spend the one month or whatever time they were given and make this Outbreak clone that is somehow worse. It would have been less embarrassing if they just released Shino Numa as a round based map, but hopefully not as this dark, lame, and boring looking visual style that they were going for in all these multiplayer map reuses that they did. Shino Numa is right there, the hut is fully modeled. Everything else outside though is empty and non-existent, just like the soul of this game. With each Zombies installment since Black Ops 3, they got worse and people compared it to the last one. When BO4 came out, people were really upset and didn't like the game. Besides the fact that it was literally unplayable at launch, people didn't like all the risks they took and the fundamental changes they made to the mode. Granted, I'm one of those people, but where it succeeded was in its content. BO4 launched with four maps. We have never seen that much content in a Zombies launch ever. When Cold War came out, people were disappointed that they only had one map. Granted, that map is well received by the community and Treyarch had the goal to make zombies more appealing to the casual audience and succeeded. Although Cold War's crack starts to show with the amount of time that it took in between map releases. We only got three DLC maps compared to the usual four. And that's because we got Outbreak. Outbreak is definitely one of the reasons they decided to make Dur Anfang instead of a round based map. The casual audience was hooked on that mode so they made more content for it during Cold War's life cycle. I just don't understand why people like Outbreak. It is the most boring thing that Call of Duty has ever produced. I mean, if you like Outbreak, you'll probably like this mode. Duran Fung was probably made for you. And honestly, my anger comes from the fact that I'm jealous that they're catering to you instead of the original fans who have always loved zombies. Outbreak has its audience. Treyarch released the details that the zombies mode was split in half between Outbreak players and round based players when there was nothing going on during the season. So for y'all filthy casuals who enjoyed doing nothing fun and walking around for 10 minutes per round, I guess y'all can enjoy this disaster because they made it just for you. Vanguard releases with an Outbreak inspired mode that has 3 multiplayer maps and Shinonome inside of it where you take a teleporter to each one that lasts a million years to take you to each location. Honey, honestly you get killed while teleporting. Can you move right now or no? Yeah. No. It, it like it takes way too long to teleport. Like, why am I sitting there for like half an hour? It's not well optimized, clearly. They have always reused assets for their zombies maps. World at War zombies only exists because some rogue devs reuse some multiplayer maps to make their mode. But that was World at War in 2008. We're now in 2021. And even still, the problem is the assets are not used well. The reused assets aren't really reused assets, they're just straight up copied and pasted multiplayer maps. Cold War did this too with the campaign missions and I didn't like it then and I certainly don't like it now. Forsaken is arguably one of the worst feeling maps to traverse and that's because it's literally a campaign mission and you can feel it. Now in Vanguard there are people wishing that they would have just pulled an Alpha Omega where they took Shinonuma and added stuff to it to make it technically a new map. People were so upset with BO4 when they did that, how they reused maps, and people cried about it for ages. But we've somehow ended up in a spot where that the reuse of assets is so much more ideal than the lazy and uninspired garbage that Dur Anfang tries to feed us. They literally have an escort mission for one of the three objectives they provide. Nobody wants to sit in a circle and do follow the thing. It's uninspired and one of the worst video game ideas ever. Follow the thing objectives should never be front and center in any video game. Then on a foundational level of the game, they don't even come close to the amount of perks and abilities that Cold War has now, or even close to what they had at launch. What about, uh, what about Dolphin Diver or whatever the fuck it's called, and I gotta have Donkey or whatever the fuck that one's called. <laughs> Why is it? They, they got rid of Donkey perk? Please tell me that's one of the five. No, you're looking at the five, you can count right there. One, two, three, four, five. That must be a secret perk. Donkey. This goober is right. Where is Donkey Perk? Where is Mule Kick? Cold War spent a whole year building up their perk roster to finally feel complete at the end, but in Vanguard it's even more bare bones than Cold War was at launch. This game has regressed to the beginning of Cold War, but somehow to an even worse state. They added a new system that gives you three upgrades, but they all are so terrible and seem to affect gameplay in absolutely no way, they are all the most minuscule and worthless abilities I've ever seen. They don't come close to any game with any sort of build crafting in it, and they shouldn't be mentioned anywhere close to a roguelike game fan as they will probably shoot you on the spot. 
This game should barely be considered zombies. It's missing some of the core identities of zombies. Where's the Easter egg? Where are the wonder weapons? They couldn't even bother adding the ray gun. The ray gun has been a staple of COD zombies for over a decade and they couldn't even bother adding that. Treyarch says they're going to add an Easter egg after season one, but that is in 2022. We have to wait for the year to end before we get any substantial update to this horrid map. Oh, but don't worry guys, they're planning to add more objectives in their already splendid list of ones already in the game. I'm sure their next objective is just going to be protect the survivor, and it's literally going to be a million minigun enemies shooting it from a distance, so you mathematically can't beat them since it will have a million health, so you will always lose it. Even when I wasn't having a good time in Cold War, at least I found some enjoyment in camo grinding. And even though I'm not finished with it now, and I still don't have Dark Matter unlocked, at least I could appreciate that it looked cool for other players. Even though there's that whole debacle about the amount of dark matter shown on the gun and how easy it would be for Treyarch to fix it, and it's simply because they don't want to that they won't do it. This is the new dark matter for Vanguard. It is the most vile looking camo I have ever seen in my entire life. Never mind, I take it back. The multiplayer camo is the most vile looking thing I have ever seen with my own two eyes. This is definitely without a doubt the worst Call of Duty Zombies experience that Activision has ever put out. They are somehow getting worse and worse with each entry into the series. We're clearly living in the-